In this video, I call a computer, I call a computer, and I overheat a computer. This is a laptop heatsink, and today we're going to be shoving it on this PC. Will it be better than the stock cooler? Well, to find out, we're first going to see how hot the computer gets with the stock cooler. So the first thing we're going to do to this thing is we're going to just shove some toothpaste on here because there is no thermal paste. We'll just do a blob this time because last time we did a bit too much. All right, now we can just turn it on and then hopefully it'll boot. By the way, we're not using the stock fan. We're using this small cooler master fan because, well, if, if you remember from last video, the stock fan sort of broke. So what we're going to do is we're going to run it with a stock CPU cooler and, well, not really stock fan, but we're going to see how hot it gets. Prime 95's running. Hopefully this fan should just... Should I put the shroud on it? I mean, it's not the right fan for the shroud, but we're going to leave this running for 10 minutes and then we'll be right back. So it's been about 10 minutes now and, I mean, as you can see, the CPU temperatures were, were going flat. I mean, it's going down a little bit, but... Here it was about 74, 75, so, so when I shove this MacBook cooler on it, and it goes below 75, or, well, just at 75, then we know we can use this as a cooler instead. So now what we want to do is, we, we just want to bust this thing off. There we go, shut that down. And then we want to take the heatsink off this motherboard. If you're wondering what this is from, it's from a 2012 MacBook Pro. If you're wondering what's wrong with it, that thing has exploded. Don't know if you can see that, but there's, there's, a, there's a chip on the edge there. Oh, there's a spring on this. The thermal paste has obviously been replaced at some point, but you know what? Let's wash this off. I've just dropped it on my floor. So now that this heat sink is clean, well, well pretty much is. There's just a bit of film paste down there. We take this one off, and you know what? That, that toothpaste spread out quite nicely. So I'm just guessing mount it like that. Is that good there? We'll just put something on top of that to hold it, though. So we'll just get off thermal paste. You know what? We'll put it on the CPU. I was going to shove it straight onto the cooler, but I don't think it matters. It might have been a bit too much, but should we tape it to the motherboard? <laughs> right, so we got some tape. Run it under here. I mean, hopefully it doesn't mount, but it might do. So we are officially taped onto the motherboard. I don't know how well it's going to hold, but well, let's just turn it on. All right, we've posted. Should we, sh should we shove the fan like that? Oh, that's just lifted it up. Oh, okay, that's getting quite hot. Where can we put this fan? That's getting quite hot. Can we shove the fan there? Let's get MSI after burner up. CPU temperature's at 80 degrees, okay. I mean, it's going down. It keeps coming loose from this CPU. We need something on top of there that's quite heavy. You know what? We can put this Apple power brick on it for a Brasinima display. There we go. That'll do. Ah, I've just touch the fan. I haven't really thought this through very well. What we're going to do is, for now, we're just going to leave the fan there, blowing sort of some air into it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to run the test. If it gets over 100 degrees, then then we'll take this off and then we'll then we'll make sort of a shroud like this, but out of tape. And then we're just going to connect these two together, if that makes sense. I, you know what? If that don't make sense, then you'll 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 see what I mean soon. Prime 95's running. CPU temps are going right up. I think this is doing worse than the Coke can CPU cooler. That is really hot now. All right, CPU temperature's 98 degrees, so it's not doing very well. That is really hot, though. Fan is ramping up. 98 degrees. Bloody hell. 100 degrees, 98. Can you hear the fan? All right, 98. All right, yeah, it's just going to stay at 98 degrees. Hopefully, I don't break this fan. That is really hot. Oh, that's real. That's a bit toasty. All right, so, oh, ah, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot, that's really hot. It, it is 100 degrees, to be fair. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some, oh, we're going to get some tape, we're going to shove the fan there, and then we're going to shove that on there, and then, you know what, let's just do it now. Basically, what I've done is I've shoved a load of fragile tape on this, so the air gets sucked in here. And then it comes out here where this CPU cooler is. Right, now we just have to find the place for this to go. So, can we mount it like that? We're going to shove this cooler on here. We're going to shove this on here. Uh, we should probably plug this fan in, actually. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Oh, if you're wondering what that noise is, it's because it's scraping against this tape. I mean, is it working? I don't think I can feel any air coming out. The cooler's definitely getting hot. Can we take this off? You know what, let's just leave this off. The cooler's definitely getting hot. Let's open MSI after burner. Hopefully you can hear me over this scraping of the tape. 81 degree, no! I don't think it's cool enough. I mean, for Apple this might be cool enough, but let's add pressure. You know what, let's just go for it. Prime 95, get up. To be fair, oh no, it's at 100. Come on. Nope, okay, alright, yep, you've gone too high. Alright, stop. Actually, you know what, let's try it again. So we're going to try this again, so we're going to shove that on. I think last time we did this, this tape was, like, this tape was stuck to itself inside. This time, I've made sure it isn't, so all of this is now open. So, let's just turn it on. 
Oh, the noise. Where's the air going? I can feel some air coming out here, actually. So now it's pumping air through this. Let's get MSI afterburner off. All right, no, CPU temperature's at 98 degrees. All right, there we go. Now the tape's not making any more noise. The CPU is at 70 degrees, but let's just get Prime 95 up. All right, three, two, one. CPU temperature's going up, 98. Oh, nope, okay, it's at 100 degrees. It's it's still on 100. Oh, it's, got, it's gone high. I don't think this is going to work. What if we shove the stock cooler on top of this cooler? So we're going to try it a different way. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to shove this CPU on and we're going to try and dip this thing in water. But first, I mean, I think we have to clean the CPU up. There we go. Ah, just, I've just caught my thumb on that. No. See if it turns on. So I got some water. I've cleaned this up. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to shove this on there. Then we're just going to shove some water and then just sort of pour it on the tip of this. And then hopefully that should just drip back into there. And then we'll just keep on going over the process. And then it should cool it down. That's, that's a bit much. And we're just going to wring it out over the cooler like this. So let's just get it all wet first. Let's turn it on and see what happens. <laughs> Should we just stroke it on all of this? Oh, no, the water's gone inside the CPU. Well, but hopefully it doesn't turn off. All right, so let's shove MSI afterburner on. We're at 79 degrees. Oh, that's not very good. We might have to shove this on there. That'll keep it in place. All right, 73, right, we're dropping. Let's, let's just shove Prime 95 on. All right, 3, 2, 1, okay. All right, temperatures are going up very drastically, but we'll just keep rubbing this. All right, let's soak it. 97, come on, get down, 97, still at 97. All right, so stress test is still running, and we're stuck at 97 degrees. I don't know if you can see that, but the water's evaporating quite quickly. Look at how fast it's evaporating. I mean, we're at 97. 90, all right, we're climbing up. I don't think this is working. I think the cooler is just too small. To be fair, it's got better cooling than the M1 MacBook Air. We're running at about 97, 98 degrees, just shoving water on it. The bottom of that is quite hot. Oh, my tissue's disintegrated. Should we just leave this on there? If we leave that on there, hopefully the bottom should just dry out. I mean, we're at 97, 98. What if we just take the cooler off and just leave the tissue on there? The tissue's quite cold, 100. What if we just keep rubbing it in circles? Ah. Right, yeah, that CPU's really dry. Let's get some water on it. Whoa! I don't know if you can hear that, but... Oh, no. It's turned off. I think we fried it. It's still alive. So, can you put a laptop heatsink on a PC? No, I, I would not recommend doing this to your own computer. So, thank you people for watching this video. I mean, if you liked it, then you, please subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Transition.